learn and understand the different coordinate systems in AutoCAD to create a more precise and accurate drawing. There are three types of coordinate systems in AutoCAD, namely the absolute coordinate system, the relative coordinate system, and the polar coordinate system. In this video, we'll show you how the three differ from each other. Let's start with the absolute coordinate system. But before doing so, let us check some settings first. In the command window or the AutoCAD drawing area, type D settings, then press the enter key. Drafting settings dialog box will pop up. Look for dynamic input in the tabs and click it. Under pointer input, click settings. Pointer input settings dialog box will appear. Under format, make sure that absolute coordinates must be selected. If not, click on the circle beside absolute coordinates to select it. Click OK to save and close the pointer input settings dialog box. Then, click OK to close the drafting settings dialog box. Now, let us discuss the absolute coordinate system. In the X and Y plane, a location of a point anywhere along the plane is denoted by an ordered pair of abscissa, the X coordinate, and ordinate, the Y coordinate. To draw an object, for example, a line, in AutoCAD using the absolute coordinate system, the drafter must know the location of the end. For example, three points in XY plane are given to be 0, 0, 2, 2, and 2, 3. The location of the points are presented on the screen. If we connect the points respectively, we draw a line segment for each pair of points. This concept of absolute coordinate system can be used to draw objects in AutoCAD. When you are first opening CAD, the default scale of your drawing area could be quite large making small objects not visible. To solve this, zoom the drawing area to its extent by pressing Z, Enter, E, then Enter. You can see that your drawing area will zoom significantly. Alternatively, you can scroll up the scroll wheel of your mouse to zoom in. You can also pan your drawing area by clicking and holding the scroll wheel of your mouse, then dragging it to your desired view. Drag your drawing view such that you can see the origin of your XY plane. Start the line command by pressing L, then the Enter key on your keyboard. Specify 0, 0, or the origin, as your first point by pressing the keys shown on your screen. Specify point 2, 2, as your next point by pressing the keys shown in your screen. Finally, specify point 2, 3, as the next point by pressing the keys shown on your screen. After you're done drawing the object, press the escape key to terminate the existing command. Great! You already learned the absolute coordinate system. 
Now, let us discuss the relative coordinate system. In an xy plane, taking origin as the reference point, the location of the point is denoted. This is done by typing the at symbol before typing the x coordinate of the specified. In relative coordinate system, plotting the next point will take the previous point as the reference point. Meaning to say, point x and y will now be the reference point of point x1. For example, three points in xy plane are given to be 0, 0, 2, 2, and at 0, 1. The location of point 0, 0 and 2, 2 is shown on your screen. Since the next point is denoted by at 0, 1, we are going to take point 2, 2 as the reference point making it the origin for our next point. Thus, line is then drawn by connecting the zero points one respectively as shown in the screen. Line is then drawn by connecting the points respectively. In AutoCAD, drawing an object, a line for example, Using the relative coordinate system begins by starting commands. The first two points can be entered without the at symbol. Follow the keys pressed as shown on. The next point after the second point will be typed beginning with the at symbol to be able to use the relative Once you're done, press escape to terminate the active command. Good job! We are done with the absolute and relative coordinate systems. Finally, let us discuss drawing objects using the polar coordinate system. In polar coordinate system, the location of the points of a line are not important. Instead, we are going to consider the length and the angle of inclination of the line with respect to the positive x-axis. It is important to note that the angle of inclination always takes the positive x-axis as the reference angle. Measuring the angle in a counterclockwise direction will be denoted as positive and negative if it is measured in a clockwise direction. For example, given two connecting line segments with the first line having a length of 2.828 and an angle of inclination of 45 degrees, and the second line having a length of 1, having an angle of 90 degrees with respect to the positive x-axis. Using the polar coordinate system begins by starting a command, a line for example, then specifying the first point. Follow the key pressed shown on your screen. It is important to note that the first point, if not specified, does not necessarily need to be at the origin. You can click anywhere in the drawing area to specify the first point. Using the polar coordinate system will take advantage of this option since the only parameters that matter are the length and angle of inclination of the line. To specify the next point 
using polar coordinate system, start by typing the symbol at, followed by the numerical value of the length, then type the less than sign, followed by the value of the angle in degrees. Press the enter key once done. The line is now drawn using the polar coordinate system. Draw the next line by pressing the keys shown on your screen. Once you're done drawing the object, press the escape key to terminate the active command. Perfect! Now, you know the absolute, relative, and polar coordinate systems of AutoCAD. Note that in drawing an object, you can use any of the coordinate systems interchangeably in a single active command. Now, you are ready to learn how to draw basic objects in AutoCAD.